Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be reviewing the Jordan 1 Bread Toes from Pancake.ru. So, as I mentioned in my website video, these are pretty much one to one quality. And let's take a look at the shoes. So, I'll just put that in there. So, opening them up, we do have the shoe. See, it looks pretty nice. You can see the tumbling of the leather there, which is pretty good. Stuff. So, we just uh, did come with some extra laces. They did fall out, I think. So, let me just put this back on. And yeah, so starting off, you can see the tongue. It's nice and puffy as it's supposed to be. Um, there is a tag in there. And one thing I've noticed is that it's a lot better. There are a lot better reps when they actually get the tag right. And I don't know if you can really see that, but the tag is correct on them. The Jordan, the Air Jordan logo, the R and the D are touching. I think it focused there. See? The toe box pops back up. Pretty good. You squish the whole thing down and it still come up. The sole, it's nice and firm doesn't move solid um, otherwise these are pretty good wraps the laces they do feel really high quality and um, that's basically it there's nothing really bad to say about these shoes because they're they're really perfect the padding is nice and soft so are the insoles um, the one thing I see most wrap makers get wrong is the like the heel support. These actually have really good heel support. Like I'm pressing that apart on these and it won't budge. It's pretty good if you want to be comfortable and you want your hair to be like probably in the case. The bottom, it is the correct Jordan 1 bottom. All the stars are the same size. The Nike has the Rex the right texture there and it has the R logo. And yeah, otherwise. Here are the shoes. Here is the back. It has the hourglass. Let me put it like that. Here you can see. You can see it has the hourglass of the Jordan 1. And yeah. Otherwise, that's basically it for the shoes. So let me put these back. Actually, I'll do a black light test. So I'll turn off my lights and I'll be right back. So guys, I'm back with the black light, as you can see. And I will be searching the shoes for any stamps or like pen marks or stuff like that. So yeah, I'll probably speed this part up, show you guys if I find anything, but yeah. Um. Okay guys, so I've done a black light of the whole shoe and it looks to me there's only one thing on these shoes that you should look out for. So right on the insole right here, you can't see it without a black light. Okay guys, so I've done a black light of the whole shoe and it looks to me there's only one thing on these shoes that you should look out for. So right on the insole right here, you can't see it without a black light. But if I put it up close and I shine it, let me you can see there's a little stamp right there. Yeah, wait. Let me just get it good. You can see it's kind of like a light white. You see me shine the light and it's kind of reflective-ish. You can see it there. So that's the only thing I saw. No like pen marks or anything, which is pretty good. So yeah. Um I'll check the box next. Um what well, let's talk about the box first. So about the box, it does have the looping correct. It does have the little green YDM sticker. Oh, I lost it right there. Pretty good. On the box, um, I don't really know how to legit check Jordan 1 boxes, but you guys can tell me if that's right in the comments. Um, it does have the little flippy tap thing, which is nice. And I'll get the black light and check this part too.
Okay, guys. So the box doesn't seem to have anything, which is pretty good. So overall, I would highly recommend getting shoes from here. Let me just add that. But yeah, I would highly recommend getting shoes from here. These are super high quality and they're pretty cheap. So if you guys do want to buy from Pancake.ru, I'll put all their information down in the description and I'll have my discount code which will save you 15 bucks. So if you guys like this video, um, like and subscribe and yeah.